All right, folks, what just happened here this morning is uh, kind of mind-boggling in and of itself. However, it's even more mind-boggling considering the context of how it happened, who it was. I just, I just got to show you. And before I show you what happened here this morning, I have to go back to what happened in this exact spot last spring. I'm just gonna snag my line. See that yellow? Yep, you got my line. You got two of my lines. Got my third one too now. Come on, guys. What the hell? You know, last spring I was fishing uh, near this spot and uh, some guys in a walleye boat trolled across here real close to the shoreline and just stupid close to the shoreline. Snagged all three of my lines, uh, didn't apologize about it, didn't, acted like total assholes about it, like it was my fault or something for sitting here fishing from the bank. And uh, well, there's another boat that's coming down here. They're real close to the bank. I mean. Clearly they don't know what they're doing because they're fishing in like four feet of water right next to the bank when the water is 48 degrees in the spring. The walleyes are out deep. Shad are out deep, the walleyes are out deep. So clearly they don't know what they're doing. It kind of looks like it might be the same boat. I don't know, there's a lot of red boats out there, but uh, hopefully we don't have a repeat of the same situation last spring. We got double trouble here. I gotta go. These guys are gonna snag my lines if I don't say something. Are you guys trolling? They're not answering me. I got lines out here that are out quite a bit farther than your boat is. I don't want you to get snagged. I'm just letting you know. I said I've got some lines out here that are out quite a bit farther than your boat. I just want to let you know, if you, if you troll across here, you're going to snag my lines. I just want to let you know. Thanks.
Uh, I don't know what the hell is going on. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey. I've got lines out here. If you troll across here, you're going to snag my lines. I got li I got lines out much farther than where your boat is. I don't I I I got lines out here uh farther than where your boat is. If you troll across, if yeah, if you right here, if you troll across, you're gonna snag my lines. I want to let you know so we don't get a, a big tangled mess here. So, so if you reel in right now, it's almost too late. Damn it! You, you got my, you got one. Can you reel in your lines, please? You're snagging my lines. These are the same fucking guys that did this to me last year. <sighs> I recognize you guys. You guys did this to me last spring too. Why are you trolling so close to the shore? Wallers are out there. It's the same fucking guys. <laughs> Unreal. I said, you guys did this exact same thing to me last spring. I recognize you. You did the same thing to me last spring. Why are you trolling so close to the shore when the water's 48 degrees? There's no walleyes here. <sighs> Let's argue about it, why don't we? Gee, sorry man, sorry man, my fault. Don't apologize. Don't worry about me. I'm good. You are what's wrong with fishing. You are why bank fishermen hate boat fishermen. Because people like you. Let's go ahead and get a little pick of these guys here. Zoom, on, zoom in on these uh, fine pieces of work. There they are. Two guys. It's the same two guys uh that did this to me last year i thought i recognized the boat and as soon as i heard that voice that gravelly stupid voice and i saw that guy with the big chopped sideburns it's the same two guys unreal now they're and they haven't changed the thing they're just going to keep going super close along the shoreline hopefully there's no other bank fishermen uh, around the rest of the lake those guys in that other boat listened to what i said and realized oh yeah, we probably shouldn't be here. And they turned around and took off. And they have they clearly had a brain in their head. These guys. So the end result is I still have two of my rigs. All three of them got snagged, but I managed to get two back. The third one is gone. Although I did I did get a couple of their crankbaits. Oh, there it is right there. I did get a couple of their crankbaits. There's another one here somewhere. I threw it in the rocks. They came back for their planer board I don't know I'll probably just leave this in the rocks I really have no use for this but uh, yeah I lost one rig well, I'll change my mind I'm not gonna leave it in the rocks because that's littering I'll put it there and bring it home anyway sorry you had to witness that I sorry I had to experience that now my freaking blood pressure's all up I'm putting bait back on the hooks 
And I'm trying to get back to the uh, calm state of mind that I was in before those guys showed up. So here's the lesson that I learned from this. If I ever see those guys again, I'm not even going to bother um, trying to reason with them or, uh, you know, like trying to suggest that, hey, maybe we could both uh, fish in peace in, in the same gigantic lake. Uh, I'm not going to ask them to, you know, please mind my lines. I'm just going to reel in my lines because I think it's just a futile, uh, a futile thing, just an exercise in futility to even try to reason with uh, some bird brains like that. So. So yeah, the Incredible Hulk in me kind of got unleashed a little bit. Sorry about that, but uh, it's over. I'm going to move on. It's good. Uh, I'm going to look at it as I'm getting the terrible fishing trips out of the way early in the season. This is literally my first time out trying to fish open water this season. Uh, hopefully that won't happen again this season or ever again for that matter. But I hope you found uh, some enjoyment in my misery. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.